Anybody pay attention? Yeah. yeah. This is my favorite film, Back to the Future, part two. Basic info about the film. The film was released in 1989, lasted 108 minutes long. It was an action adventure comedy film. The stars were Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly and Christopher Lloyd as Dr. Emmett Brown. It was nominated for Oscars for Best Effects and Visual Effects. The film won a BAFTA award for Best Special Effects. The storyline of the film was Marty McFly only had just gotten back from the past when he is once again picked up by Dr. Eric Brown and sent through time to the future. <coughs> the latter's job in the future is to pose his own son to prevent him being thrown into prison. Unfortunately, things get worse when the future changes the present. This is a trailer. Um. starts off with the end of the first film. I also like it in the way that the special effects are very good for the time. The film was made as they won a lot of awards for this. This is a poster for the film. Random facts. When the DeLorean is landing in the alley in 2015, it is raining, but the camera angle shows the main street at the end of the alley, and the cars going by are in the sunshine. When the dock is hovering behind this car in 1955, allowing Martha to catch up, the wheels that the car is really driving on are visible. In one future scene where Griff and his folks are chasing Martha on the hoverboard, the wires suspending them above from the ground are clearly visible. When Marty is watching his other self talking to his parents, Biff's shadow can be seen on the wall and he's waiting for his cue. This is the profit they made. And that's it. Very good presentation, Michael. Great, so any questions? I liked your presentation, but the words on the wheels weren't very misleading. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Even though you're reading out, I was just wondering what was there. Yeah. So it's really good. I really like the way you had a photo in the background and the words at the top. It would be good to have them in maybe in white or something like that. Just mm -hmm. a different font. Different font, maybe, yeah. Overall, yeah. though, I thought it was really good. Uh, I think that, again, uh, like Andrews, you should, I think, you should try and remember some of the words, mm -hmm. then, like, stare at the screen, it, it just makes you feel like it's, like, more pres presenting to the audience, not just to yourself or to anybody else like, near you, it's just, you know, more people do that, but I like the presentation, you had everything that you needed, I just think. If you made it, if you just hold yourself up a bit more to all of us and just present it properly, then that can, it could work really well. Great stuff, yeah, thanks for that. Go on, Andrew. Oh, one thing. I like it. Um, when you went to the uh, facts, if you yeah. know those four facts, they were, all four facts seem to be based on like continuity error, you know, like yeah. film mistakes. I would like a few facts that had some. With the word about film mistakes, like it took five days to film this scene, or uh, this had this. If you look closely, you can see this really cool poster for Jaws. So, you know, something not common in the areas. Yes. Yeah. Cool. That's good. Anybody else? Anybody else? Feedback? You guys? Why the second one? Why not one? Uh, I like all of it as a trilogy. No, yeah, but why did he like that one more than the others? Yeah, why did you like that one more than the others? It's actually a really weird reason. So I prefer the car of that one to all the others. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it a different DeLorean? Yeah, they're all different in all three of them. Uh, Have you seen a DeLorean? Yeah, on the first in one in real it's, life. It's, yeah, a yeah, yeah. polished one in my life experience. <laughs> there's one in the lake, though, there's one museum. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, there's one in Keswick as well. No, no, that's the one I don't need to just go back to the museum at Hathers Way. Oh, thank you. The first one, yeah, yeah, it's like three of them. The first one's powered on the Germans, then the second one is powered on waste, it's Mr. Fusion on the back of it. Yeah. The last one's powered by, it's just the same. Right. It's just really weird reels on it and stuff. And the DeLorean was actually a production car, so they built it to sell it. It wasn't like, they didn't build it specifically for Back to the Future, or yeah. obviously they added some bits on but it's a cool car. Mm -hmm. Lots of bits, I think. It's iconic. It's iconic. It's iconic. It's it's very iconic. iconic. Wasn't that another car as well? Like, you know the um, scene for Land Rover? Oh, do I stop mm -hmm. you? Doesn't that, do I stop you? No, keep going. Oh, doesn't that like, um, like change the era type as well because it was like meant to be set in a certain year, but it's like one of the brand new cars, which is like oh. in the future, it's like different patches. Is that all the old used to be? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. That's what the 50 the hovering cars, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah. 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 It's actually set in 2025. 2025, so, so about 10 years, 10 years before all our, all our cars are like, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 10 years. Yeah. 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 Yeah.